Yes, it finally works. So this is my MPPD tracker and this is a DAC analog output which drives a um, op operational amp amplifier, an op amp that inverts the input voltage to to go into the to the to the regulation of the output voltage. And so here's the MPP curve. We are right here now. The power rises. Voltage is also pushed upwards and then it is about 15 volts then the power decreases and we are going to the open voltage now here whereas the current the power goes down to zero yeah and then now i circled from the beginning right in a moment so now again we have the shortcut current at really no voltage but then the the dac dr drives the vol input voltage upwards and then again we get the curve uh, it's here now and coming over here shortly there yeah. so the input power and output power it's not really um i have to gauge it yet so it's really it's very rough values so it's just the proportional values okay but here the voltage is not 30, but it's only 29. So uh, it's it's really uh, the efficiency much, sometimes is over 100% and that's not really possible. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is a D1 mini ESP8266 with wireless. So below could be an SD card. And here we have the op amp analog uh, digit uh, AD converter to hold sensors for the current here's a DAC for analog output 5 volt <laughs> here 3.3 volts and this is the LTC 3780 which has really a, it's a very great thing a step up step down uh, up to a 97% efficiency right now I have a, a shot key diode here to prevent current going backwards because this could <laughs> Uh, discharge the battery or even explode the LTC because it's, it's a full that's not a here's this very old panels solar panels 35 watts so it's 70 watt uh, yeah sunny now this is my train station this is, this is me and yeah uh, it's so awful of uh, so many so many think pieces burned and this this the headers female head should also be upwards so this is a replacement already so that afterwards people can really in add add more stuff to the and and reprogram it and could be a universal dc converter with full control of voltage and and current so uh, might be a nice thing and uh, I don't really like these MPPT checkers you can buy uh, from China or yes they never really <laughs> they might be they are optimized and uh, constructed for a full sun uh, 200 watt and so they advertise ah oh, 200 watt but when a cloud comes it's only 20 watt uh, for sun and with 20 watts these, all these never really found a, a charger that really uh, uh, work nicely and this is really a very very efficient or it's really cool and it's it's um, very quite cheap and you see it i can even stack them so right now this can make 14 amps so you could uh, charge a 24 volt battery here with uh, with solar panels uh, up to 14 amps so it's about 300 watt but you could for, for about 11 euro you could buy more of these and you could have 700 or 900 watt and it's it's <sighs> so i really think that might become a kickstarter campaign and that's why i'm already publishing it so people might uh, want to tell me if, if, if they would like this and it's a three level 
And so this is a digital with computer. This is a digital analog board with interfacing. And this is a full analog board. And they go on top. And so now I can go to my <coughs> new 3D printer, Core, Core XY, and print a nice housing. And then I need to find a nice algorithm to, to track the PowerPoint. I mean, easiest way would be to simply measure the open voltage and then multiply it with 0.8 or something like that to get the MPPT, the voltage, and then simply um, adjust the voltage. Because the MPPP point, that's what I was told, it's not really depends on the, on the, on the power of the sun, but on of the heat of the solar panels. And, and these do not change that, that quickly. So you could do it this way. But of course, <laughs> it would be nice to see if you truly would really track it. And so, yeah, that's the project. I've been working on for some days and it's really, I, I would love to have a PCB maker so I can get rid of making these, these prototypes. If I would turn it, you would oh, lots of pins and cables and you, you start with something like that. And, and if this works, well, then you have to put it here and, and then well, some shortcut and, and, and pieces burned. And there is a Kickstarter campaign. The Spark Maker for it's a very cheap SLA printer. It's not such a filament printer with filament, but it uses a resin that is cured by the UV light, ultraviolet light, and it's not really comparable to other printers out there because the, the resolution is not really that great, but it's still better than a, <laughs> such a filament printer. So it's only about uh, 0 0.1 millimeter or maybe uh, 0 0.15 millimeters. Whereas all these other uh, printers, uh, they have uh, 0.02 or something like that, but you do not really need that. And so these Chinese guys, they really made a printer cheap, but it's it working and it would be okay to print uh, something like that. So the, these lines here would be, uh, that 0 0.2 millimeters would be enough, would be enough for that. And I have an idea to, to, to turn this 3D printer in a PCB maker. And that would definitely be a great <laughs> Kickstarter campaign. <laughs> so I'll mention this here. So maybe if, if the more people would like this, the more I, I'm motivated to, to go on with this. And uh, also uh, thinking about this uh, PCB maker. Okay, bye-bye.